Hi, I hope you're all well. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. How are you? What it do? <laughs> so today I'm doing a very bronzy, soft glam. Everyone loves a soft glam. It's appropriate for anywhere. Weddings or to wear to Instagram, the streets, you know, just... <laughs> it's just a very well-liked or loved and popular way to wear makeup. And, you know, just to making sure that everything is blended to ensure the softness, using neutrals that complement your complexion bars anyway yeah thumbs up the video please if you like don't forget to sub if you're not already subscribed and if you're newly subscribed thank you so let's do a bronzy soft glam okay so i'll just start with a primer i've already done uh, my skincare routine i'll probably include that next time so i'm still using touche clar ysl blur primer just get a bit of this and two pumps is literally all you need so I'll so I'll just kind of focus that around my T-zone and just spread it out all the way down here. I'm just going to put my hair in clips so it doesn't get in the way. So maybe do that. Right, so we're doing a soft glam. So naturally I'll use a soft matte foundation from NARS and this is in shade Macau. Uh, just you only need a bit of this foundation uh, this was in my 2020 faves so take a bit of this put it in the brush um, I like to start here see how we just covered my little spots there and then bring it all the way across here so I hope that you're doing well I can't believe we're still in lockdown you know when we went in lockdown first time like April last year. I was watching this guy who studies um, viruses and things. And he basically said in a situation like this, he was doing like a forecast of how things might go. And he said we might go into a second wave, maybe third wave. And when I watched that, I was like, no way. Maybe your dad's going in a, you know, we can't be going in a third wave. Oh, I love this foundation. Oh my God. And now we're in like tears and like just all sorts of restrictions. I'll just get a bit more foundation. There is so much that I don't understand about this lockdown. Like how can kids still go to school without even a virus? Kids are like a breeding ground for germs and all sorts of things, you know. They get stuff from school. So how can they still go to school? I don't get how China have contained the virus. This British guy was vlogging from China. Like last January and and they were masking and there was nobody in the streets and everything and I th kept thinking wow what a situation to be in and this is our situation <laughs> but I just don't understand why can't we just do what China have done whatever they've done you know it really doesn't make sense it just really doesn't make sense I'll just bring this down my neck too that's one of my pet peeves I really don't like bringing foundation down my neck but you know, you kind of have to so everything is cohesive and it just looks better so you don't look uneven. Anyway, do you see what I meant about this foundation? It's so good. Soft matte, full coverage. Just a really good one. Okay, so that's foundation done. Now I'll just add a bit of warmth to my skin. So this is a very bronzy, soft glam. I'll take a cream bronzer from the Melt Sculpt stack. So I'll take the... um not neutral blend I'll take warm blend which is this one and this one you can contour with but I like to use it as a bronzer because it's it's quite warm so I'll just take a bit of that just add a bit of warmth around just my hairline just go in my cheek as well so lockdown hasn't been really hard for me because I usually stay at home anyway so it wasn't a really big change for me, you know, but I can imagine what people who like to go out all the time. That must have been really difficult for people that just like to be on the scene, you know, like to go out every day. But that's kind of the opposite of what I'm like. So when they said to stay at home, I, OK, I stay at home. <laughs> I stay at home anyway. So bring this in here in the cheek. Everyone's different, though, because if someone told me that I had to start suddenly start going out every day, you know, 
every single day. I probably like cry every day. So I think it's hard. And everyone keeps saying stay at home. How hard can it be to stay at home? But everyone's situation is different. Like for a lot of people like going out to school or to work, that's like a escape maybe from a situation at home that isn't so great. Like if you have just a spouse that is unbearable or even with just parents, you get a break when your kids go to school. So it's not just about it being difficult to stay at home. Just so many things come into play for different people. Like sometimes just working toward a goal, like every day at work or whatever you do, that might give you like some pep in your step or just a reason to to just be alive. I don't know, or want to, do you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. It's different for everybody. Um, luckily, like I just like to stay at home. It's peaceful, I love it. So it's it hasn't been really hard for me. So I've just brought this all the way to my cheek here, all the way around. And then I won't go here, so I'll just use my contour for here. So I always like to take my foundation brush, just go over any spots that might not be properly blended, just go over those. Yeah, so I'll take my contour now from the same stack. That was warm blend, so now I'll take neutral blend, which is more of my contour, which is more of my contour colour, so this is a bit cooler. So again, take a bit of this and just go now on the hollows of my cheeks. I hope this is showing up on the screen, but you know, just go there. Sex and the City is back, which I think is good news, but without Samantha, like what's the point really without the set? <laughs> then go on this side as well. And just kind of blend upwards. I don't like it to go to low i really love the formula of the stack everything just blends out so nicely you know you don't want to struggle blending a contour so this is really good so i'll take the brush that i use to bronze just to go over make sure everything's blended because i think that's a big part of a soft glam is just to make sure everything's blended so it looks really soft you know so that there, there aren't any harsh lines anywhere so like to make sure that everything is blended. I'll just do a bit of contour on my jaw, just there. I always contour my face for my face, you know, just anywhere that I need to contour, or I feel like I need to contour. So just, I like to add a bit of contour there. I was gonna talk about Black Lives Matter, but I, I won't do that. You know, I'll just um kind of reiterate what MKB said he's a tech reviewer. I'm kind of low-key high-key into tech But everyone was chiming in at the time and he basically said if you decide to follow um, Somebody because you know, you want to support black creators and everything because everyone was shouting out black youtubers and Instagrammers and everything kind of like they weren't there before <laughs> Kind of like they didn't exist before <laughs> Anyway, he said, if you decide to follow someone, because you might mean well, you just subscribe and not really interact. Just make sure that you're interacting with their content somehow, like liking their stuff or commenting, because if you just subscribe, you might mean well, you know, because you want to subscribe, support. But if you don't interact, um, YouTube will kind of flag that as content that's not, I don't know, that's just irrelevant. So it will just push it to the back burner kind of thing. So. Just make sure that if you subscribe, you actually like the content, not just to subscribe is what I, I think that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, taking again my foundation brush just to go over the um, lines there. So now I'll just do a bit of highlighting using Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin O'Quan. This is in shade SX12. So this is actually a more golden undertone. So... I usually use my Too Faced, but I really want to be snatched and when I use my powder, it just, you know, it just works out. So I'm just going to take a bit of this. You only need a bit of this concealer. I'll go right in the sunken place, <laughs> right there, and just add a bit of concealer. I will spread it out, so just kind of keeping it here. Oh, this is really creamy and just very high coverage. That's the big thing, it's so high coverage. 
and I think that's enough for there. Just add a bit there too. And there. I'm currently watching Brid Bridgerton on Netflix, which, you know, I started it a few weeks ago before All the Rage. What? But I kind of stopped because I think it's so predictable and I guess it's... I'm still watching it, but I um, kind of like it kind of over <laughs> a very narrow line here because, again, it's high coverage, so I will spread it out. These are just the usual places where I tend to highlight. That's actually a lot of concealer, believe it or not. So I'm just going to start blending now. So this might take a while because I'm using a small brush to blend. I just like blending with brushes. I'm trying to think of some shows that I've watched that I liked. Little Fires Everywhere, that was so good. Um, I think Reese Witherspoon is a legend. <laughs> After Legally Blonde, I just think she's a legend. Like, come on. But the storyline was really good as well. I started watching This Is Us, but I stopped. Oh my God. I watched Westworld, all of it. Uh, my brother told me to watch that, so. Um, it was kind of hard to get into, but when I got into it, it was really good. So I'll be using this. <coughs> so I will use this concealer to prime my lids. So kind of taking that all the way up here into the brow, taking the brush that I used to bronze and just kind of blending out that edge. Yeah, just taking my foundation brush again um, to just kind of make sure everything is cohesive and just blending really well. That's always a thing. I just go back to my foundation brush. Anything's not blended properly, I go back to my foundation brush. I watched so many makeup artists that I didn't even know about. Um, do you remember in April when everyone was going live? I think people didn't know what to do with themselves. Like all the brands, like everyone would just go live. I didn't watch many of them. Just a few that I really am genuinely into, you know, but Kevin O'Quan used to do that. Well, Nick Luhan, who's the um, director of artistry and education for Kevin O'Quan, he used to do these live um, on Tuesdays. Is it Friday? <laughs> I don't really remember, but I just always used to set my reminder. Anyway, he did these lives with so many makeup artists, like different people that I didn't even know about. I love makeup artists. I feel like that's, I don't know. I just can learn so much from them. I love makeup, obviously, but I always like to use my makeup properly and just use it the best way I can, use it different ways. So I always kind of perk my ears when makeup artists are talking about makeup, teaching things. So yeah, followed so many people from there, found so many people on YouTube during lockdown. And I just kind of learned so many techniques. If I give it a try and it works for me, I just keep doing it. Yeah, so just tap that in again. I love this concealer. Just something about this sensual skin and arm. So it just makes you look snatch like I'm not even done so I'll just give my nose a contour so I'm just doing a nose contour I just like to put a bit of contour there all the way up to my brow into the brow I've actually done my brows too so that's why I might look a bit different brows just make everything make sense you know so done my brows nose contour yeah. Uh, to do my brows, I use Boy Brow and Brow Flick, these two. So this is just a brush that I run through my brows and then kind of flick on uh, sparse areas with Brow Flick. And that's all. Okay, so now I'll get into the eye look and I'm taking my concealer brush. Just whatever's left on the brush. Not really picking up any product or anything. Just kind of stamp it on. Actually, I'll just take a bit off my... <laughs> hand there and just to prime my lids keeping in mind this is a bronze soft glam so I'll take my bronzer again the cream bronzer from the sculpt stack and then I'll just use this as a primer for my lids I already have concealer on but this is to add a bit of color to a bit of bronziness so now I'm just blending up the edges of this cream bronzer and also creating the shape that I want this look to be. So go in there, kind of brush it out like this. 
Another show that I loved is The Undoing with Nicole Kidman. That was really good. It's like a, um, what do I even call it? Like a psycho psychological drama? I don't know. But, uh, so I think it's about narcissism, kind of. Okay, so all the shadows that I'm using today are from this palette. This is a side-by-side -side palette. It's a nude palette from Nabla Cosmetics. And this is just a really good nude palette. So, so many palettes you can use for a soft glam. I think main thing is neutrals that complement your skin. So, you know, you can use different shades of browns and all of that. So I'll just start with Burnt Sienna, which is this one. I'm just packing on quite a bit on the brush and then I'll just go in there, just in the crease, tapping it on at first because there's a cream underneath so I don't want to move the cream so when I've kind of tapped it on enough I just start to blend. I like to start blending very lightly with the um, tips of the brush. Very light pressure as well. Sensual Skin Enhancer just makes a really good base. I want to get the lighter colour, the one that's um, a shade lighter than this because I feel like because I feel like I would use that for bright looks. So just blend that softly. It's a soft glam, so we blend softly. <laughs> so bring it in here, take it out just for the shape of the look, so. Okay, so next I'll take a deeper brown here. Just put this on at the corner here of my eye. Just kind of poke it and then bring it into the crease like so. All the way through here. Yeah, so just adding a bit of depth to the look, so. I like to just start there, bring it all the way into the crease. These are very pigmented shadows, so you don't need a lot. You don't need to pick up a lot of shadow, but hopefully you can kind of see. Okay, so then I'll take this taupe colour called Clan. Love this one for just a really good neutral that just adds a bit of depth. So I'll just pick up a bit of this one. So I'll just tap that on right on the edge, bringing it on the outer part of the lid, you know? Yeah. So taking my crease brush again, very lightly going over that, just to make sure it's not too harsh. Okay, so I'll just quickly do my lower lash line, which I should have done before, but um, I don't know, I just forgot. So I'm taking, which is the shade that's in the crease, and just to make sure it kind of joins with the makeup on the top there. Right, so I think that I'll do a wing, but I'll do it soft and kind of smudge it out because it's a soft glam. I've seen so many renditions of a soft glam on Pinterest, on Instagram. And the thing is, people say that a soft glam, some people say that it's an all matte look. Some people say you can't use shimmers. I've, I've seen like dewy skin soft glams. I think you can just do whatever you want as long as, see all of them look so different but they all look soft so I think as long as you keep it soft. I'll take the black from the um, palette here just, yeah so maybe take it out like this, bring it down. So whenever I do a wing I don't bring it all the way here because my lid space is limited. So I think I'll just do that, right? Fill it in. Yeah, that's all. Da -da 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 that's all, folks. Okay, so disclaimer, the wings are sisters, not twins. So now I'll take the brown cedar wood or cedar. This one, shade it all over the lid. Ugh all over the lid and lightly blending out the crease as well while I put it on the lid so so once again taking clan that taupe shade just to blend out this bit yeah 
Okay, so just to finish up taking my favourite shade, this is called Better Society and I think this is more just to top, just to top off for the lid. Love it. Ray of light in a corner highlight is what I'm going to use this for. To have a bit there. Yep. And just for this space here, I'm using the brown that's on the lid. Okay, so that's everything almost done. But now I'll just add the powder, set everything, blend the edges that are not blended. I'll start with my Fenty powder in banana right here. Tap the powder on right underneath the um, eye. I love small brushes. And then a slightly bigger brush just for here. Tap the powder on. I like this brush, it's very loose. It looks like a, like a cheek brush, I think it is, but I like that it picks up powder and just lays it down really nicely, forehead. So I go in with the Fenty powder first if I want my makeup to last really long, but usually I just use this. It's the airbrush powder from Charlotte Tilbury in tan. So this is three. Take a brush like this one and then just go right underneath here. This really helps to blend out your eyeshadow here and it actually is going in the creases of my under eye here. A bit of powder here. I love this little brush. And then a bit more powder just to blend out this bit. You know, so everything is blended. Bring this in the brow as well because sometimes my brows get a bit greasy. Okay, so you can leave it like this, but I'm just going to add a bit more bronzer. This is my favourite bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Bronzer in 4. So this I'll add just to the places where I bronzed earlier. Using a fluffy bronzing brush. Just add there. Yours. A bit on my nose as well, as usual. And then I like to add some here too, you know, just to make everything cohesive. Lip liner I'm using is this one, which was a favourite from 2020. It's from Kevin O'Quan. It's the um, it's the unforgettable lip definer in pure. So this is like a um, it's like if Mac Chestnut and Mac Cork had a baby. So it's a very nice uh brown liner as far as lipstick i'll use kink star from mac same as last year i think the last video that i did i used this one which is a few like last year so love this nude still i'm gonna put that there Okay, so I'll add a tiny, tiny bit of blush from Juvia's palette, Juvia's Place. This is a Saharan blush palette, volume one. I just feel like I need a bit of colour. So, that's all. That's literally it, just a little bit. So that's Kinkster on the lips and then I've just stuck my lashes on. Another nude that I really love is from Natasha Denona, it's called... Sammy and this is from the I need a nude collection so this one's really good as well just wanted to say that but I think that one's a bit cooler so this one I think goes better with this look if you have a nice bronzy lip gloss obviously you can throw that on but I'm happy to leave it like this and I don't really have a bronzy lip gloss I'm not really a lip gloss girl okay so this is a look finished let me take these off so I've cut my hair into like layers just to give it a nice shape. Not my hair, my hair, but there are bundles incorporated in it, you know.
yeah so this is basically the look finished i hope you liked the video thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed if you're newly subscribed thank you again follow me on instagram for daily makeup content i don't really like the, i'm not so uncomfortable with the word content but yeah for daily makeup stuff just follow me on instagram and thank you so much for watching so i post every friday on youtube I didn't want to say that before I posted at least three times, but I think I'm good with posting every Friday. Thank you so much again for watching and leave in the comments what you think, uh, if you have anything else to say. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.